a lot tougher now, eh? Set the post, set the post, now work around it. What I want to emphasize today is how to do it properly. Everybody's done these exercises before. These aren't anything new, but what's going to be new is how to do them, how to shorten the muscle, how to contract it, how to take it through its natural arc, through a full range of motion. My goal today is to uh, just want to hurt a little and uh, maybe uh, figure some new things out for myself or, uh, for the future. Your biceps face me, so you need more. Yeah, that's better. There you go. So just keep this stuff turned in. There. So guys at home, it's very important that you note that his biceps are facing me and his triceps are facing that way. To get into the skull crusher, any form of triceps extensions, you need to have healthy external rotators because the key positioning is to be able to externally rotate your shoulder so that when you're on your back, your triceps are facing this way and your biceps are facing this way. If you're doing your anything tricep extension with your elbows flaring out, you are an injury waiting to happen, I guarantee you. You're just trashing your elbow joint to pieces. You could get a little more external rotation of the shoulder, but this is fairly good. As soon as this, if this elbow starts flaring towards me, towards you watching at home, then he's just putting unnecessary stress through this thing and is trashing this little fragile hinge joint. Textbook form right here. Good, this is excellent. Lower it, I got it. Lift your head. So again, let's hammer this home. External rotation of the shoulder first. Triceps are facing that way. Your biceps need to face me. Turn this in, turn this in. Shoulder in, that's it, that's it. Now work from here. Now that's all triceps. Beautiful, see the difference? See the difference? So external rotation is this way. That's external rotation. So now your biceps are facing me. Your triceps are facing that way. When you curl the wrists, you're basically shortening the distance that the tricep has to work. So I'm keeping your wrist straight. So I'm keeping this thing further from your elbow. The further that is, the harder it is. Today I'm looking to get some good pointers because I've watched a lot of videos and I've tried to see, watch myself in the mirror, but I just can't. I want to get some good one-on-one -on -one instruction. Keep those wrists straight, wrists, that's it, now go. See that little change, it makes it harder just by going from this, going from this to this. We, we lengthen the lever an extra inch. Third set, externally rotate your shoulders first. A lot tougher now, eh? Set the post, set the post, now work around it. That's better. I got it. Go. All right, Patrick, let's go. You guys look 10 times better than majority of people who do this. You guys are way ahead. You're gonna let him tell you that's it? You're gonna let him tell you what to do? Aren't you the trainer, Cody? When I say forward, you keep going forward at the top until these are fully contracted. That's it. Backwards. Now go forward, forward, forward. Keep going forward, forward, forward more. Squeeze harder, squeeze harder. That's forward. You see the difference on the triceps here? You don't rest up here. This is what everybody does. Now back down. Backwards, 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 backwards. Now forwards. Forward, forward, forward. Push into my hand. Keep pushing. Push through the corner. Push through the corner. Squeeze harder. That's what I'm talking about. You're done. How's that feel? That's a tough one, man. That last three inches pushing it just. Yeah. You're feeling your triceps pop? Yeah. They should almost feel like they cramp. Yeah. You're like almost like uncomfortable, almost scary kind of cramp. Like, oh my God. That's your nervous system recruiting new muscle fiber. Your nervous system is going, holy crap, I'm waking up. I didn't know I needed to wake up today. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All the way through, all the way through. You're done, you're done. Good. It's great. So as soon as your body starts changing position to complete the rep, you're done. No point. There's no more benefit. There's just too much risk for very little return. Does that make sense? Yeah. Once you start cheating, it's like it's like a it's like investing in a bad stock. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just not a stock you want to invest in. Exactly. It, it, it's just, it's, it's basically you're chasing pennies. You want to focus on the dollar bills. Okay guys, so same thing. We're going to set the post. And we don't finish here, we pull all the way through. Okay, the only problem is that with a bar you kind of get stuck, so it's tough. But what we're trying to do is go all the way through your body. Okay, so again, that's the natural carry angle that we don't neglect. So we take a wide grip. This is pretty much an injury waiting to happen. So pause. It looks pretty good, right? It like looks pretty good. It's not good enough. Keep going back. Keep going back. That's better. See the difference? When you become an advanced trainer and you've got a couple years behind you, it's these little subtleties that are going to make the difference. You can't rely on the same stuff you relied on when you first started. So we're on the second exercise of our triceps workout. Mike's group is working on the rope extension. My group's working with the straight bar. And uh, we're focused on, on maximal contraction. These guys are doing four sets of eight with one drop set. And the main cue here is to set the shoulder to elbow as a post. This thing doesn't move. And when we're going down, we're not going for a good range of motion, we're going for great range of motion. And we're going all the way back until this thing really, really cramps. That's your cue. It's got to cramp to be in a maximally contracted position. The more you go into a shortened position, the weaker you are. That's normal. So it's hard to get back there. He's, it's not because he can, it's just because he's never gone there before. This is just going to take practice. Right now, he's got a shoulder that is just at his side. If he takes his shoulder back, then it gets his tricep even shorter. And then if you extend here, you'll feel even more of your tricep engaged. Because the tricep crosses the shoulder joint, so it's also a shoulder extensor. So if you really want to shorten your tricep, it would be back here. Back, back, back. Pull right through, pull right through. Get a, Good, don't change your trunk angle. That's the hardest thing not to do. You gotta really think, trunk still, get it from your tricep, get it from your tricep. You gotta find something in the basement, like Rocky would say. <laughs> One more. Push my hand off your arm by squeezing so hard. Push my hand off your arm, that's too fast. One more. Squeeze it off your arm, squeeze it off. Boom, wow, that's what it's looking for. There we go, good stuff, man. All right, guys, let's summarize the top five things you guys learn. One thing each. Share it with the viewers at home. Uh, just really shortening that tricep, getting it as short as possible. Get the most contraction you can out of it. Keeping the elbows in, because when they start to flare out, you've changed the technique and you're gonna open yourself up to injury, so elbows tight. Keeping the straight form, elbows in, and really lock, locking, locking out at the end, short bit. When you think you're done with your motion, go a little further. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going for great technique, good technique, good. Keeping your elbows close to your side allows you not to use either your leg or start swinging. So that's a good thing that I've learned today. So. It's because they're fast learners, eh? Yeah. You guys can have big arms before you know it. Yeah, keep going. Good. Keep your back flat, ass down. So one of the things a lot of people don't understand are the abs are a postural muscle, meaning that they're primarily slow twitch in nature, meaning they can take a lot of volume, a lot of fatigue. So we're going to take these guys through five different exercises continuously. And this is why fitness models have some of the best abs in the world because they train them all the time. So this is a little thing that we do when we want to get ready for photo shoots. We do this on a regular basis.